Aboard each of the five Disney cruise ships, you will find Palo, the adult exclusive restaurant featuring fine Italian cuisine and home to the delicious Palo brunch. In this video, we will talk about the slightly modified brunch experience that has been in place since the Disney Cruise Line resumed selling and how that has continued into 2022. We will also talk about the price, items on the menu, the service you can expect, and the theme of the restaurant itself. So let's dive in. Aboard the Disney Dream and the Fantasy, the entrance to Palo has a chandelier depicting pasta, melting cheese, and tomato sauce. And throughout the restaurant itself, you will find paintings of Venice. Aboard the Magic and Wonder, the entrance has Venetian masks and a modern design. And the Disney Wish will feature Palo Steakhouse, which will still offer Italian favorites, and Palo Brunch, but the restaurant is themed to Clogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. At this time, Palo Brunch no longer features the buffet options, so to start out with, bread service is brought directly to your table. These were all more savory breads with caramelized onions, sun-dried tomatoes, blue cheese, etc. The Palo Brunch also includes a complimentary mimosa, or in our case, we just ask for sparkling cider. And you also get to choose either an antipasti, featuring seafood, or aged meats. You'll find that many of these are items that used to be available in the buffet. Here's everything that is included in the antipasti options. Then it was time for some of the breakfast options on the menu, and starters like soups. My dad ordered the celery soup with the spiced Italian sausage, which he thought was delicious. And I had the apple cinnamon Mickey waffle, and my mom ordered the strawberry Mickey waffle. These were also wonderful. I have a strawberry compote for you. Okay. So maybe um, in the mid Yeah, year. a little bit there. Maybe in another year. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then all around? Uh, maybe in the mouth. Maybe in the mouth, mm -hmm. all right. And we'll call yeah, it Make good. it a little smile. <laughs> a big side. Absolutely. Wonderful, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh -huh. Here's the full menu for soups, waffles, and pancakes. And also the various egg options. If you are finding this review helpful, please give this video a like. Now let's continue as it was time to order our entrees. My mom and I both ordered the famous Parmesan crusted chicken breast. So delicious. I don't know how they make it so good, but it is amazing. My dad ordered the lasagna, which was also delicious and loaded with flavor. We also ordered the artichoke ravioli, which came highly recommended. The pasta and filling inside was so delicious. I would highly recommend getting this to share with your table. And we also ordered a pizza to share with our table. Half margarita pizza and half spicy Italian sausage. The crust of this pizza, the sauce, and the toppings were all excellent. On previous visits to Palo Brunch, we've ordered the calzone, filled with prosciutto, basil, bell peppers, and mozzarella cheese, and the grilled cut sirloin steak. Both of these were also great options. With the entree options on the menu, the concern isn't ending up with something you don't like. The question is, what are you most in the mood for? because from our experience, they have all been wonderful options. If you've been to Palo in the past, I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite items to order are, or if you're thinking about going to Palo, what items are you most interested in ordering? Then it was time for dessert. Once again, instead of the buffet of desserts, you pick from a menu, and they have larger portions of six of their most popular desserts. We ended up ordering four desserts. Five layer pistachio. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's delicious. Vanilla bean panna for the table to share. Thank you. That's beautiful. That is a wonderful. Looks wonderful. It's amazing. It has like a Home is strawberry basil serving. Also, the vanilla bean panna cotta is meringue sitting on a bed of the mango jelly together with some fresh berries for you. Enjoy. 
the vanilla berry panna cotta. This is served with strawberry basil sorbet. It was very light and refreshing. The raspberry chocolate crunch tart, which was also delicious. The warm chocolate fondant. This was amazing. And the five layer pistachio cake. This was also very, very good. I wish I had better words to describe all of these, but they were all just amazing. Here is the full dessert menu. All right, so we are just getting finished up here at Palo. We had a delicious meal, everything was great. And as you can see, we are finishing off our desserts and all of them were excellent. We had four different desserts and they were all amazing. So yeah, I think the chocolate one was my favorite, but all very good. The cost of Palo Brunch is $45 per person and the full experience takes about two hours. Space is limited, so reservations are required. Palo Brunch takes place on most sea days and in some cases on certain port days, like when the Dream or the Wish visit Nassau. One question I have had a lot of people ask is do I think Palo Brunch is still worth it without the buffet portion that used to be included prior to March 2020? My answer is a big yes. $45 for the quality of food is still amazing, and for the amount of food we were ordered, since you can get multiple things from the menu, $45 is a really good deal. And I almost feel like the lack of a buffet had me more focused on the delicious menu items, which like I said before, you can order multiple items from the menu instead of just filling up on some of the little things I used to want to try at the buffet. I even enjoyed the more limited dessert menu than the previously more large dessert options at the buffet because of the larger portions they offered and that the six desserts they offered were some of their best. Although one area that I did miss was the bread service. It does not compare to the various breads that they previously offered and the warm sticky buns. So I do hope that they find a way to either bring those back and some of the breakfast breads because those sticky buns were delicious that they used to offer. So once again, yes, I think the $45 is totally worth it. Palo is a wonderful experience. And even without the buffet, we had a wonderful time. So maybe they'll bring the buffet portion back in the future as the world gets more back to normal. But even without it, we had a wonderful time. And the service we've had at Palo each time we've visited has always been excellent. Of course, aboard the Disney Cruise Line, the servers are always doing a great job, but at Palo, it really seems to take it to another level. They really make you feel like VIPs during those two hours that you are there. So it's a very special experience. And yeah, they give great recommendations. You get to know them a little bit and those servers just make you really feel special. And because the server you have at Palo will not be your typical server that you have at the main restaurants that you visit each evening, you will need to include a tip for this server at Palo. So make sure to take that into account as you're planning to visit. But overall, we had a wonderful experience and I can't wait to return. So until then, be sure and check out my review of Cabana's Buffet aboard the Disney Cruise Line and my tour of the Disney Dream. Thanks for watching.